Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about display data on user dashboard. So let's see how can we display data on user dashboard. First of all, let's log in with user credentials. So click on login link and uh, here let's enter the user email ID, which is user, this one and password. Now click on login. Now go to the user dashboard. And here you can see the user dashboard, which is blank this time. Okay. Now let's display here the user data. So switch to the project and let's open the user das dashboard component class file. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP live wire and user. And from here, let's open this one user dashboard component.php file. Okay. And inside this file, inside the render method, uh, let's fetch here the latest orders, okay, according to the logged in user. So, right here, dollar orders is equal to model name order colon colon order by order by created at okay, descending order. So, right here, DESC where uh, where user id user underscore id is equal to user the auth so write here auth and also import here auth like this okay and uh, then colon colon user arrow id okay then uh, call here the get method all right and uh, from all the record let's take the top 10 records so let's write here take and inside this just pass here the 10 number 10 all right after this uh, let's page here the total purchase total cost number of delivered orders and number of cancel orders okay so for that just write here dollar uh, total cost total costs is equal to order column column where a status is not equal to cancelled okay so right here not equal to cancelled okay c a and C cancelled then add here the where condition where user id is equal to this one auth colon colon user arrow id okay then use here the sum method okay so write here sum and uh, pass here the column name total all right then uh, let's get here the number of total purchase orders okay so write here total purchase is equal to order column column where and then status uh, same so just copy this the status is not equal to cancelled all right then where add here the uh, inside this way just try to the user id user underscore id is equal to auth column column user arrow id okay then use here the count method so write your count okay now write here total delivered product okay so write your delivered total uh, delivered order okay order 
colon colon where let's copy this all okay and paste here and we'll only change here the status and write here the new word all right and uh, for cancel order so let's copy this line and paste here and change here the name total cancelled okay and, and also change here the status cancelled all right now let's pass these orders uh, total cost total purchase total delivered and total cancelled to the view file okay so here just add the comma then big bracket then first pass here this one orders arrow dollar orders okay next one total cost arrow dollar total cost then total purchase total delivered and last one total cancelled and in the comma then total cancelled dollar total cancelled okay all right now save this file now let's open the user dashboard component view file so just go inside the resources directory then views liveware user and from here let's open this one user dash dashboard dash component .php file okay now here first of all remove all the text this div and uh, now let's open the admin dashboard view file okay so from the admin directory let's open this one admin uh, dashboard component dot blade dot php file okay and from here let's uh, select all the text and copy and now go to the user dashboard view file and paste here okay now close this now inside this uh, view file let's uh, make some changes so uh, here just uh, change the label total total cost okay and also change here total cost all right and here total purchase total purchase and just display here the total purchase so let's copy this one all right then total delivered and uh, copy this total delivered and also remove this dollar sign and here total uh, total purchase total delivered and here total total cancelled okay so just paste here and also change the label cancelled right and uh, inside this table uh, inside this t body uh, just change here the order details link so just remove this and add your user dot order details okay now it's done so save this file and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and here you can see the total cost total purchase number of total purchase total delivered and uh, here let's change the icon okay so uh, inside this view file inside this total delivered uh, here this is the icon for dollar sign so just write here get 
okay and also change your the color bg secondary this one okay now save this file and just refresh the page okay now here you can see the total cost total purchase number of total purchase uh, orders and uh, total delivered orders and here is the total cancelled orders okay and uh, uh, 25 this is the total purchase total delivered total cancelled okay here is the problem uh, inside the where just right here just remove this one okay simply write here a status comma delivered and inside this just remove this and a status is equal to cancel okay and uh, here this is right okay now it's right now save this file and let's check again now it's showing the correct number of orders okay total purchase 25 total delivered 3 and total cancel one okay and these are the latest orders 10 orders now let's check inside the other user so just log out and uh, let's log in with another user user2 so just write your email id user2 password click on login and go to the dashboard and here you can see it's showing the number of total purchase and total cost is zero purchase zero and everything is zero because in this user id account there is no there is not any purchased okay or no any orders all right so that's why it's not saying any records so in this way you can display data on user dashboard so that's all about displaying data on user dashboard so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching